Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Probably the most controversial video um, I have ever um, made is one that was called 14 Questions for Meat Eaters. Uh, they got very, very offended. And, um, you know, I've had a lot of my uh, videos taken down over the years, believe it or not. You start, I start going back and looking at some of these videos, and I mean, you know, YouTube just doesn't seem to like me very much. Uh, you can still find a lot of them on Rumble. But, um, you know, they just take things down because they feel like it and they don't agree with something. You say anything against the medical establishment or whatever, you need to watch yourself. So, um, but this one, it's controversial. They seem to don't have problem with, you know, uh, challenging meat eaters. I, you know, I'll say it for a thousand times. I don't care what you eat. I, I don't give a crap at all. But I just wonder if people actually think about what they're eating. And in this case, what do meteors think? So I asked 14 questions, and here is the video again, and um, make of it what you will. But I just thought I'd po repost it because it got so much, um, it caused trauma for people. I don't know why, but it did. So anyway, here we go, 14 questions for meteors revisited. Let's start. Number one for meat eaters. Have you ever killed the meat that you eat? Number two, think about the last time you ate meat. Do you know exactly where it came from other than the supermarket? And number three, why are a meat eaters so sanctimonious and arrogant about eating meat? I ask that one because they always ask why vegans are sanctimonious and arrogant. Yeah. So why are meat eaters? Number four, why do meat eaters always need to talk about what part of the animal they like the most and the taste and the texture of it? You know, it's like at turkey dinner, you know, you're at Thanksgiving dinner. It's like, I like, I like the leg. Or I, I, like, I like the breast. I like the, it's the only place you can say breast, like, and not get arrested these days. So um, why do they always do that? Why do you always got to talk about that? Especially in front of non-meat eaters like myself. Number five, have you ever stopped to consider you're just eating a dead animal carcass? Number six, have you ever watched one of those uh, slaughterhouse videos on YouTube? <laughs> And if you have, did you find them disgusting or did you look at them and say, well, that doesn't really actually happen or did you like it? And if you haven't wa watched one of those slaughterhouse videos on YouTube, why not? Uh, number seven, uh, have you ever considered that as a meat eater, you're just hiring murderers uh, to fill your belly? Number eight, do you believe that animals are treated cruelly in slaughterhouses? Number nine, why don't you eat all animals, even cats and dogs? After all, they're just animals and they're just meat. Uh, like in Korea, they still eat dogs to this day, especially the elderly people. They like to eat dogs. And in China, they eat cat, you know, it's very common. They eat it throughout there. Would you ever eat a cat or a dog? Is there any animal you wouldn't eat? You know, a asking these questions is really fun. You know, answering them sucks. You know, you got to answer them and stuff. But asking this, it's like a walk in a park. Number 10, uh, would you ever eat a dog after having one as a pet? If so, maybe you should have a cow as a pet and then you'd never eat a cow again. Number 11, does the uncleanliness of slaughterhouses bother you? You, you are aware that they are notoriously filthy places, right? Number 12, does the fact that supermarkets dye the outer portion of their meat red uh, does that, to make it look fresher, does that bother you? You did know that they dye the, dye the outer portion, portion of the meat to make it look red like meat when really it's just brown. You knew that, right? I mean, number 13, is there some kind of meat you would not eat? Kill just about everything that walks or crawled at one time or another. Um, if so, why wouldn't you eat it? After all, when it comes to the animal world, meat is meat, okay? So why would you make a distinction in your mind? Does it have anything to do with the intelligence of the animal? For instance, pig is a very smart animal, and yet it's found on plates throughout the world, in particular China. They love pig over there. Love their, pig, love their pork in China. It's off the, off the scale for pork lovers. China, pork. And number 14, last but not least, would you ever kill and eat another human being to survive, or is that where you would draw the line? I've killed women and children. After all, we're meat too. Okay. 14 questions. I'm just asking. Just asking. 
and I look forward to hearing all your answers out there from the meat eaters all, all, all around the world, uh, what you have to say about my 14 questions for meat eaters. Be nice. Be nice. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time. I just want to remind you to buy my books. I've got uh, eight books on natural health, uh, one on cancer, one on silver, one on water, some other ones. I've been writing books now, believe it or not, 25 years. And uh, go to Amazon.com or Audible. I've got them all on Audible or go to BobMcCauleyBooks.com. But buy my books, please, and review them.